Hi, I'm Ann Alonzo, AMS Administrator. Here at USDA's Agriculture Marketing Service, or AMS, we recognize that the face of agriculture is changing. As we oversee more than 20 research and promotion boards that provide nutrition, research, marketing, and consumer outreach, AMS knows that board members need to reflect the diversity of the industries they represent and the consumers they serve. This means adding more talented women and minorities, as well as seeking diversity in members' age, size of operation, geographic distribution, and production practices. The recently released data from the 2012 Census of Agriculture also tells us that all categories of minority-operated farms increased since the 2007 Census. Hispanic-operated farms, for example, had a significant 21% increase, so it looks like we have minority farmer talent in the marketplace. Let's do all we can to attract these minority farmers to our boards. AMS is committed to supporting and strengthening the effectiveness of our boards and making sure that they can adapt to a fast-changing marketplace. A major part of this effort is cultivating board leadership that provides diverse experiences, perspectives, and opinions. We've put together the video to encourage diverse candidates to serve on the boards, which we know will improve their overall effectiveness. We'd like you to hear firsthand why some of our current board members answered the call to serve, with the hope that it will encourage other talented candidates to be a part of strengthening U.S. agriculture. To get involved, if you want to know and stay abreast of all the new issues that are affecting a commodity, if you want to stay in tune as to um, issues about quality disease, uh, how to market the commodity, the best place to, to be is at a marketing board. There's a group of growers, uh, handlers, importers, people there sharing knowledge that is incredible. And it's more, the time that you invest is nothing compared to the information that you come out and the knowledge that you gain from serving on the board. The information that's now available to retailers, growers, consumers, if you go to the websites, if you take a look at all that, you know, you sit back and you said, I was part of that. I helped, my little drop made a big impact, and it feels really good. I think one of the most exciting things is to meet all the dairy farmers from across the country and find that we have such common goals and a passion for our industry and what we do, and it becomes like just a big family and everybody helps you along because there's so many things going on with our board, new innovation, new partnerships, new research. It's just so exciting to be a part of that and hear all the exciting things that we have opportunities to become involved in. I think that you have to have a passion, and, you know, for sure for your industry and I really feel that everyone I know pretty much has that passion. It's worth the sacrifices of being off the farm. I really think that women are very well accepted on the board. The women who have paved the way in the past ahead of me, it has been a majority of men, I think, but the women that have come involved open the door more for women like me. We have a lot of new, younger board members. It's just great, but I think coming from a dairy farm and working with our families, the older generation and younger generation, it, it becomes a very e easy mix to serve on the board. Um, what's been exciting for me is to be elected twice now for the two terms and to represent 70,000 producers in the United States. It is, it's an experience that it's hard to explain, but I, I would gladly do so to anyone that shows any interest and have done so. It's a fabulous experience. It's nonstop education. I've been able to help other producers throughout the country realize that diversity is a wonderful thing. The biggest challenge that I see is the time commitment, but if you can do it, it's just extremely rewarding. My experience as a board member has been very rewarding. Any opportunity I have to encourage someone to try to get on the board, I will do so. It's, it's a wonderful thing. If you really want to know what's going on, you need to be part of a, the board or you know, actively in, in, engaged. In order to help our farmers, do a better job of um, producing 
what they were trying to produce, I needed to get involved. So I started visiting other growers all around the country, making myself known and letting it be known that I was interested in, in becoming a member. And I was uh, nominated and selected. And I'm not only on the National Watermelon Promotion Board, but I'm also on the National Watermelon Association Board and also the Texas Watermelon Association. But how are you gonna learn what's going on if you don't get involved? And it's not for everybody, but the ones that can should. You know, you gotta feed your family. And we're losing our farmers. They're getting older and retiring. And we gotta encourage young people to get back on the farm. When I got involved, I was the only African-American involved that I would see at any of the association meetings. In most of these industries, uh, it's family farms. And it's a family in environment, uh, in an environment where people can uh, share information. But the benefits is you're gonna have a seat at the table and be able to gather information that you're gonna be able to help you, your business, and your family. And encourage as many people as possible that would ask me for advice or my opinion. And I think that you should serve somewhere. You need to give back and give forward. I've learned so much over the last four years as, 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 as I served on the board. It's a well-polished organization. I can pick up the phone and get information from any of those people. And we need more farms. I was aware of the cotton board and locally there is a very strong cotton producer organization on the leading edge of events going on within the industry and they are one of the producer organizations that nominates people to the cotton board. The industry, or however you earn a living, is you need to know about and you need to support it. If it's important enough for you to work in it, you need to know what goes on in it and do anything that you can to keep that a viable industry. And yes, I think anyone should be involved. There are, not everyone can be involved to a whole extent, but everyone can be knowledgeable of what is going on in their industry and how efforts are made to promote their industry. You have to be willing to learn and be open to new ideas and to continue learning throughout the process. And certainly that is a benefit. I don't see that being a woman or a minority has been a challenge. I mean, if you come prepared with knowledge and willingness, people are very generous in talking with you and getting to know you and sharing their knowledge with you. And everyone brings a different perspective to any organization. But as a group, you know, we can move forward and work together. It has been very beneficial to me because I have been presented the opportunity to meet many different people, growers from many different parts of the country, and just to be exposed to the knowledge and skills and things that these people have done has just been enormously beneficial to me. I'm just happy to do anything that I can to keep the cotton industry a viable industry. Now that you've heard all of these great testimonies, the only thing left to do is to act. We need your help to make sure that our boards are able to reap the rewards of all types of diversity. Please nominate candidates that you feel will help their respective industries meet the demands of a fast-changing marketplace. You can find more information about our boards at www.ams.usda.gov slash research and promotion. You can also call our outreach office at 202-690-0487. Remember, it takes good leaders for an industry to prosper. With your help, our research and promotion boards can ensure that American agriculture will continue to be a leader in the global economy. Thank you very much.